This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Evansville Hearing Aid Center. And Amanda Bennett is our tri-state professional and owner of the Evansville Hearing Aid Center on String Down Road. That's right. Welcome back to the studio. Yes, it's so nice to be back in the studio. It's nice to see everybody in person. So it's I'm good glad to, have to be you. back. Yes, glad to we've be been back. zooming for a while. Y yes, too long. <laughs> well, it, it was handy. Yes, it, it was, was handy. Certainly handy. So <laughs> good to have you back. And of course, we, you and I've talked about this because, of course, you, you work with me. But those early signs of hearing loss are not always clear to the person, I mean, I was thinking everybody just needed to speak up. Surely it wasn't me. Sure, <laughs> right. Well, and it's easy to bypass signs because we can turn up our TV, um, right. we can turn up the radio, we can ask people to repeat themselves. So it's very easy or, you know, just think, oh, well, they're just mumbling. Everybody's just mumbling. So it's very easy to pass those signs up. So very important not to pass those signs up. If your family is telling you, I think you need hearing aids or to get your hearing checked, it's probably a good sign because they're listening to the TV act comfortable to them and if it's too loud for them usually it just keeps going up and up and up long you know more and more and more so mm -hmm. it's a good sign to get your hearing checked if you're having trouble on the phone um, women and children's voices are the first to go um, most of the time so if you're having trouble hearing grandkids or your daughter or something like that then you definitely want to come in and just get it checked out it doesn't hurt to get it have a baseline hearing test that doesn't mean you have to have hearing aids um, just get a baseline so then we can see if it does start deteriorating well that's right and once you know I mean then you can keep track of it throughout the years to go okay now now it's time yep now so time. we usually we you know we send letters out yearly if you get your hearing tested we'll send you a year later um, hey we haven't seen you in a year come get it tested so then we can keep an eye on it and see if it does start deteriorating and it's really uh, let's talk about the test because it's so non-invasive it doesn't take any time at all really comfortable sure yeah I mean doesn't it, no pain at all so that's good and if you come in you know we put headphones on you and tell you to listen for the beep you push a button and then we just just ask you to repeat some words at a comfortable level at amplification so we can get your understanding because that's the really important part is your understanding. Well it is and it's so interesting depending on how your hearing loss goes you sometimes can hear the first part of a word and not the last part which can be uh, really meaningful absolutely <laughs> when somebody has said can no change and you the whole meaning of a word really <laughs> yes. quickly so right. that goes in with our high frequencies as far as women and children's voices our consonants come out of those high frequencies our s t's p's so a lot of people will miss those but they can hear the vowel sounds but like you said if you can't hear the s or a t it might change the whole con context of the whole sentence so you answer completely wrong so a lot of times it can be embarrassing uh, yeah, it really can. It's yeah. just, but it is just that, that red flag that says something's going on here. And it's hard to hear from your family to, for somebody to say you might want to think about getting your ears checked because you kind of resent that at first and it is. push it, back it, against it. It's yeah. very hard and you have to be ready to come in and right. you have to be ready to wear hearing aids because you're the one that has to put them on. But it's the earlier you treat the better because once that understanding is gone and you have lost it, it's gone for good. Hearing aids cannot bring that back. So once your brain kicks out a certain sound, like I'm not going to hear the S sound anymore at all. We can't get that back even with hearing aids, so that's why early intervention is the best. And just give them a call, easy to make an appointment. Absolutely, yep. You can call our front desk and they will get you scheduled and we will get you in uh, within probably at least a week, maybe sooner. So Start yep. that new year off hearing everyone you love. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> Thank absolutely. you, Amanda. Thank so you. good to see you. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Check that hearing. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Evansville Hearing Aid Center.